Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This one might be a little different. I think I'm gonna treat this uh, pretty different as well in the way that I edit it and just how I'm talking, to be honest with you. Um, wow, it's been a long time since I've played on this world. It's been about two months, I think. I don't know when that uh, video where we built the cathedral, um, when that was uploaded. It's been a long time. Wow. Uh, it's cool to <laughs> kind of see what it looks like again. It's very, very fresh, I must admit, in the sense of I just haven't seen this stuff in such a long time. So it's interesting to uh, see it now with my own eyes yet again. Uh, but I wanted to make an episode today kind of just talking about what's been going on and um, more of a podcast style episode. There's the build that we made. I forgot that I had the Zoom function still installed. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really just wanted to discuss, you know, what's been going on with me, uh, the Moonglow channel, all of the changes that have happened with me, because a lot has really gone down in those last two months, which is why I kind of stopped uploading and I stopped playing on this world. And I just wanted to discuss it. Maybe there's some other YouTubers out there who find, uh, you know, this in common with each other. And, uh, maybe some of you guys can relate as well when it comes to your work and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to make my way back to the house as the sun is setting. But essentially, um, the first thing I wanted to start talking about was just YouTube in general and how difficult I found YouTube to be. Um, this was the first time I've ever had a YouTube channel that was actually paying me as a job. So um, this was the first time I was ever uploading videos to YouTube where I was getting paid to make them. So um, I've had other YouTube channels before that have had a few thousand subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for years and years and years now, but I've never actually had a YouTube channel get monetized. So this was the first channel that I ever had uh, that has been fully monetized. And let me tell you, it is rough out here. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, for those of you who aren't aware, um, YouTube, basically, you don't make any money from AdSense, like, at all. So... Should I be sharing that information? Probably not, but uh, I figured it's good. Why not? Okay, we can go to sleep now. All right, there we go. Now it's daytime. Yet again, I had actually had to cut there. I don't think I'm allowed to share how much I make from YouTube videos. I think there's something in the um, whatever. There's like a rules thing when you sign up, and I don't think I'm allowed to talk about that. <laughs> so I'm just going to play it safe, and I'm not going to say exactly how much I earn, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not a lot. <laughs> so uh, a channel of this size basically doesn't make anything. And so um, the unfortunate thing about that is, especially um, for my younger viewers, viewers out there, once you guys get older, you'll realize that time is a very difficult thing. It's very hard to manage your time, especially if you're doing multiple things at once. So if you're working and you have hobbies that you want to do and you, you know, you spend all your day working and then you come home, you, you just don't really have the energy to do the hobbies that you want to do. I'm sure a lot of people can relate with that. And so what ended up happening with my channel was that um, YouTube wasn't my main gig. So that's not the thing that I was doing the most for my making a living. So I work as a professional musician. That's my main job. And so that's why I always have the Spotify link in my description is because that's what I do for my main job. That's how I make most of my money at the moment. And I've had other jobs in the past. I used to work at a clothing store. Uh, I worked at a trampoline park for a while when I was in high school. I worked at a dollar store. Um, so I've had other jobs before. Um, but I really, really, really wanted to pursue YouTube at one point. And so uh, I originally started YouTube with cars and like modifying cars and driving cars and um, talking about that. And then I slowly realized how expensive it was to run a channel like that. And uh, that was not something I could do in my early 20s. And um, I, I couldn't really justify spending that much money on cars. It just didn't really make sense at that point in time. If you have excess income and you're older, I think it's a great hobby to get into. But when you're younger, like myself, not necessarily the smartest thing in the world to do. So um, I still have my car, but uh, that channel has massively slowed down. I rarely upload on that channel anymore. 
Um, and then I have my music channel, uh, the Soundstorm channel. So um, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with sharing who I am at this point. I don't think I'm really all that concerned anymore about hiding my identity. I actually came over here for something and I've just realized that none of this stuff is actually here. Unless it's this right here. I think this is what I was looking for. I was planning on building a city. That's what this whole road network is, but I never actually got around to doing anything when it comes to that. Um, and so this is probably one of those videos that you can play in the background while, you know, maybe you're playing Minecraft or whatever you're doing, studying, working, whatever it is. Um, in case you were interested about where I've been. And so I actually think I'm going to prep this room as well. Um, because I want to do something with that room. So I genuinely just got bored of playing video games. I really don't know how else to explain that other than I just, unfortunately, as much as I enjoy playing Minecraft, I really do. I think it's a really fun game and I enjoy the artistic part of it, but I just felt really bad about myself of sitting in front of a computer all day playing video games. Something about it just didn't register right with me and i don't know if that's because i'm getting older i just recently had my 25th birthday yesterday <laughs> so i'm now 25 so we are a quarter of the way through of a century uh which is an interesting thing to think about um but yeah i don't know something about sitting in front of a computer and making youtube videos where i wasn't really making all that much money it just kind of felt like i was wasting my time and especially you know i'm kind of for my younger viewers out there when you're at this point in your life this is kind of when a lot of things start to change for a lot of people so it's kind of when you start to get your career sorted out you kind of start to have some direction you kind of um you know you're living on your own and you start kind of figuring things out uh as an adult when you're in your early 20s and so for me as much as I loved playing Minecraft and I enjoyed playing Minecraft, it just didn't feel, I don't even know how to explain it. It didn't feel, um, I, I don't know. I, I can't even find the words for it. Something about it just didn't feel right with me after, you know, I kind of had that honeymoon phase with the channel where, um, you know, I had one video that did really, really well and I was super, super excited and super motivated. And then, as I literally, I had predicted in that video, um, or one of the videos right after where I said that, you know, my channel was probably going to die off and all the viewers, they weren't going to come back. And unfortunately that is exactly what happened. And basically, um, you know, pretty much I had one little month where there was a spurt where a lot of people were watching and I was getting like 2000 views a video, 3000 views a video. And then after that, it all kind of just you know, fell apart. It was like a wagon where all the wheels just fell off. And, uh, you know, my channel, like my videos started getting like 200 views, 300 views. Every time I would upload a video in the analytics, it would say ranking by views, 10 out of 10, right at the bottom. And that was really, really, really demotivating. And that's not for, um, you know, me to say anything bad about my fans. I don't think it's any of your guys' fault at all. I think a lot of it has to do with YouTube's algorithm that has changed in the past couple of months. And also, um, to put a lot of the blame on myself as well for the lack of effort that I put in, I really, I probably could have tried a lot harder and I wasn't. Um, but I wanted to make this video explaining why I wasn't trying hard, which was that I just couldn't find... Oh, wow, that's fun a chicken. Um, <laughs> I couldn't find the excitement to play Minecraft. I don't know how to get that across. And so I just had to take a break. I had to cut myself off completely from the game. And I think this happens to every creator at some point in whatever they're doing, which is um, if you do too much of one thing for such a long period of time, you burn yourself out. And this wasn't necessarily a burnout. Um, it was more of like, kind of like an awakening. <laughs> That's the word I'm going to use. It, it was like an eye-opening experience for me of, is this really what I want to be doing? Do I really want to be sitting in my room playing Minecraft at 25 years old? Or do I want to 
start doing something that feels more valuable. I guess that's exactly um, what I was trying to get across is that um, for whatever reason, this, I'm going to call this channel a hobby for me. It doesn't feel valuable to me. And I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, whoa. This doesn't feel valuable to me, and I don't know why that is. I can't figure out why this doesn't feel valuable to me, and it's very hard for me to get that across because so many of you are so supportive on the videos. You come back, you watch every week or every couple of weeks whenever I upload, and uh, you really enjoy them, but for some reason, every single time I have to <laughs> make a Minecraft video, not have to, um, of course, it's a privilege. I get to make these videos. I almost never look forward to it these days. And I don't know why that is. Um, I, and I, I think a lot of it just has to do with that I'm growing up and <laughs> I'm becoming an adult. And I just, for whatever reason, don't really enjoy playing video games. Uh, I mentioned in one of my older videos that I never play video games like ever <laughs> i when i was in high school i only played one game and it was rocket league <laughs> all day i had like literally eight nine thousand hours in that game i would play rocket league every single day to kind of show you whoa crazy voice crack <laughs> to kind of show you where i'm at i haven't played rocket league in three months probably four months three months I logged on four days ago. I played three games <laughs> and I was like, this is the most boring thing ever. What am I doing? And I logged off. <laughs> I have no idea what has gotten into me, but I just feel like I have completely changed. And I, Minecraft doesn't register that same level of disappointment in me. Like I enjoy this game. I think it's very artistic and this is going to kind of lead into the next thing I'm going to talk about before I finish this, um, which is, that I enjoy the artistic part of Minecraft. I don't really enjoy the video game part of Minecraft. You, If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I literally just like don't, <laughs> I don't really play the actual game part. I kind of just collect blocks and build things and try and make like paintings in block form. And so uh, because of that, I figured that, you know what? I might actually enjoy drawing and painting because that's all I'm ever doing in Minecraft. And even though Minecraft is a 3D sandbox game, why don't I try this with like a pencil or, you know, something of that nature? And so I started learning how to draw maybe about a month and a half ago. Um, I went to Michael's and I bought a sketch pad and I bought two pencils and I had no idea what I was doing at all zero clue what I was doing. My first drawings were so bad. They were horrific, <laughs> but I worked really, really, really hard at it. And I watched lots and lots of videos and lots of tutorials. And I took it very seriously trying to learn how to get better at drawing. And I saw great improvements over the course of a month and a half. Now, throughout that time period, I realized just how much I enjoy drawing and illustration and um, especially in a period of my life where I'm trying to figure out what direction I want to go and what career I want to choose long term, um, you know, that whole window has opened for me of I could potentially um, see myself doing illustration in the future and drawing in the future because I'm a very creative person. I'm not the type of person that you can have sit down in an office and just type away at numbers or screens all, all day. I'm very creative minded and I feel like I need to be doing something creative or I have no self-worth. <laughs> and so I have been going through a really, really, really rough patch lately when it comes to that, because, um, I, I don't know. I wasn't necessarily, I don't know. I just wasn't really fulfilling my creative mind. I guess that's the way to explain it. I, I, I really fell into a trap with YouTube of, um, treating it like it was work. And, uh, I, I just never looked forward to making a video. And so, uh, that's why I honestly stopped <laughs> and I just didn't upload anything on this channel is because I just simply wasn't looking forward to it. And I don't know if that means I've outgrown Minecraft or if I needed to take a long break, but 
at the end of the day, um, I really do enjoy making YouTube videos, but YouTube is not what it was five years ago. You can't just start a channel and um, expect to make a living off of it. You will not make a living off of YouTube. It, had I gone through life again, I would absolutely never choose this path to try and become a YouTuber um, because I have been at this for 10 years. Nothing has worked and it is just really, really, really rough, especially when there's a lot of pressure on you from, um, you know, I'm just going to say outside members looking in to for you to succeed and you don't have the stats or you don't have the financial part of it to speak for it. Um, yeah, it's pretty gut wrenching and it's hard to take that in, but regardless, um, you know, I'm so deep into it now. I'm so many years into it now that I can't possibly give up at this point, but I just don't know if Minecraft is what I want to do when it comes to YouTube. I think there are a lot of eye opening things that have um, happened for me recently that shows, um, you know, there's so many other hobbies out there that I could enjoy. And I think one of the biggest things when it comes to YouTube and wanting to do it for a career is, um, I want to do something that's real. And what do I mean by that is that I want to do something that takes place in real life because I just feel so guilty sitting in front of a computer all day playing a video game. I don't know why that is, but it really makes me not feel good about myself. <laughs> and so I would just like to, um, you know, drawing is totally different because my mind is in a totally different state of mind when it comes to that. That was a probably not the best way to say that. But as much as I love Minecraft, um, you know, drawing is completely different for me. I think there's a lot of crossover that happens with my building style and uh, the way I'm doing art. But when it comes to the actual drawing like techniques and using the tablet and using the pen and thinking about drawing and just creating stuff. It's totally, totally different from Minecraft. And it's, um, honestly something that I think suits me a lot better. Um, and you know, this is quite common as well. A lot of people, um, they don't get into drawing or painting until, uh, you know, they reach, um, I'm just going to say older ages. Of course, 20 isn't really that old, <laughs> but, um, a lot of people, they don't draw when they're younger and it's not until, you know, they get into their twenties that they actually start learning how to draw. And, um, yeah, to be honest with you, I just think that, um, it's something that I've been, uh, very intrigued by for a long time and I'm glad I started doing it. And, uh, to be honest with you, I just don't really know where I'm at with Minecraft right now. I have no idea what I want to do with Minecraft. I kind of started this channel as an experiment to see um, if I wanted to do Minecraft YouTube long term uh, because I was very inspired by the Hermitcraft stuff at the time. But I haven't watched any Hermitcraft videos in about four or five months and I haven't watched any Minecraft videos in four, five months at all. I... I uh, pretty much have just been focusing on playing the guitar, making music and drawing for, uh, the time that I've been away. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to make that video, uh, or make this video talking about that because I wanted to be transparent with my viewers. I just wanted to, you know, kind of talk about, you know, what's going on, the normal struggles of a YouTuber. Of course, um, I'm smart enough to know that I can't switch this channel, so I can't just start uploading whatever I want because although um, people are so generous and they're so nice and they will uh, absolutely support me in doing that, the YouTube algorithm does not. So that is like rule number one. If you switch what you're uploading the algorithm is going to kill your channel so fast and you won't get any views. I've seen it time and time and time again. So yeah, I, I guess I just really don't know what's in store for the future right now. Um, I'm sure I'll continue building on this channel at some point and I'll keep rolling with it uh, here and there. But of course the daily uploads are long gone and the weekly uploads at that point are long gone as well. And I think I'm probably going to be, um, I, I don't want to say it, 
but I feel like it's the honest truth and it sucks to say, but I'm probably going to be stepping away for a while because I'm just not excited by Minecraft at the moment. I, I really, I'm not enjoying playing the game. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really done anything while I've been on here. I just wanted to make this video talking and kind of have like a podcast style episode. So I didn't really plan to do anything on here. And to be honest, I didn't even really want to log on here at all. I just logged on here so that I could record and talk and make this video. So, uh, yeah, Minecraft is kind of on hold at the moment for me. So, uh, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, with this channel. I feel like this probably isn't a good decision, but I'm doing it anyways. Um, and I think it's just important that I focus on the things that I really enjoy and that the focus on the things that I'm passionate about. And, um, you know, I, I guess this is kind of a consequence of accidentally blowing up, right? <laughs> um, not that I blew up because let's be honest. Um, Although 4,000 subscribers is a lot in the relative scheme of things when it comes to YouTube as a career, that's practically nothing. There's lots of channels out there that have 4,000 subscribers. So um, you always kind of have to bring yourself back down to reality. It was amazing to have that huge growth spurt and it felt really good to be working at a goal for a long time and finally have it come true. Um, but at the same time, it was kind of eye-opening and it was just like, you know, 4,000 subscribers and a monetized channel is not as amazing as I thought it was. <laughs> and it's basically no different than if you have 200 subscribers in a non-monetized channel. I'm just speaking the truth. I hate to say it that way. And I don't want to kill anybody's dreams of becoming a YouTuber because I know there's a lot of people out there who want to do it for a career, but I just want to be honest with you because truly I love you guys and I love my supporters and I want you guys to understand from the bottom of my heart how hard it actually is to become a YouTuber and to grow a following. Um, you know, when you're at the stage that I'm at right now, it's like you're just getting started. There's like 10,000 more staircases you got to go through. So it's really, really, really hard and it takes a lot of dedication and it's very, very taxing mentally, um, especially um, if it's the only thing you're relying on. So, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to understand that this wasn't the only thing I should be relying on. So I have other avenues that I've been focusing on and stuff, but yeah, YouTube's in a really bad spot right now. Uh, I think this is a, a huge thing for a lot of creators. It's very oversaturated. It's very difficult to grow. And, um, I'm just thankful that I was able to grow as fast as I was. And, uh, I'm kind of disappointed in myself with how I handled it. So, Anyways, um, I think that's probably going to be it for this video. Uh, I have no idea what is going to end up happening on this channel. I don't know where I'm going to go with it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm quite lost right now, as you can tell. Uh, but I do want to thank you uh, for supporting me along the way. Um, I don't think this is going to be a me leaving YouTube. I think this is just me kind of expressing that I have no idea what the hell is going on. So I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know what direction I'm taking with YouTube. And I'm really trying to figure out how to um, organize myself right now and kind of find some direction with something that I enjoy doing and what I want to do for a career. And so, um, you know, I think music will always be there for me. That's a very, very um, important thing in my life. But other than that, I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. So yeah, that's about it for this video. That was kind of just a ramble. Um, I, I don't even know if I got out what I wanted to say, but I think I'm going to upload it anyways. Why not? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. And uh, until next time, see you later.